Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a, a user for remote access and then how to add it to the MySQL connections. I'm using MySQL uh, Workbench version 6.0 so it's a little older but I think uh, it still applies. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log into MySQL and in my case I'm going to be using a, a, a root user just because um, I need to set I need those permissions. So it's not recommended to log in as a, re, a root user on any remote server. And then I'm just going to enter the password. So once I'm into MySQL, you'll see I'm prompted with the client connection here, the prompt. Um, we're just going to be creating a user. So we're going to do um, create user. And then we're going to give it um, a username. And we'll just do, uh, we'll just call it temporary. And every user is defined by what the username and the host it's connecting from. So I'll need my uh, my current IP address, and I'll be putting that there. But for now, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show it as uh, a local IP address. But do not use local IP address. This needs to be the IP address provided by your ISP server that connects you to the outside world. And you can find that by looking on a website. Um, or some other methods. Um, so, I'm gonna, you know, I'll replace that with my external IP address, which I don't think I should show here. And then we're just going to type identified. I always type identified wrong by some reason. Yep. See, I put an extra N in there, I, and I have about ten ways I type it wrong. And it's going to be identified by, and then we're going to put in a password here. So it should be a good password, which this is not. Um, and that creates our users. Even though it says zero rows affected, it it does create our users. And then we're gonna we're gonna grant um, this user permissions to do certain work. 